Alabama voters passed Amendment 1 on Election Day, and that could potentially change the right to bail for many people charged with a number of violent crimes. So prior to this amendment passing, capital murder was the only offense in Alabama where bond could be withheld. News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker joins us now in the studio with what this will look like for the local courts here. That's right. Under old Alabama law, unless you were charged with capital murder, you would have an opportunity for bond. But now that Alabama voters have passed Amendment 1, also known as Anaya, law that may change for some violent offenders. The move adds murder, terrorism, sexual torture, aggravated abuse of a child under six, and a series of first degree charges including kidnapping, rape, sodomy, domestic violence, human trafficking, burglary, arson, and robbery as charges for which a defendant would be held without bail or could be held without bail. Madison County prosecutors tell me they can request a pretrial hearing to ask the judge to hold a defendant without bail. The accused could be represented by a lawyer and could testify, call witnesses and cross examine witnesses. Then the decision will be up to the judge, but I'm told this won't automatically apply to everyone who is charged with one of those crimes. This is something prosecutors can consider for those charged in the worst of the worst crimes or those found more likely to commit crimes while out on bail. Now I'm told once this amendment is ratified, meaning the Alabama Attorney General and the Secretary of State certify the votes on the amendment and then send it over to Governor Ivey, it will go into effect. That could be as soon as a few weeks. Great.